fourth OAE Global Conference on Aquatic Animal Health was held this week in Santiago, Chile. More than 270 experts from 90 countries gathered to explore how the improved management of aquatic animal health can lead to sustainable aquaculture worldwide. The aquatic environment presents unique challenges that are not present in terrestrial systems, which require special attention and consideration. Today, the fisheries and aquaculture sectors represent a source of income and livelihoods for more than 50 million people. To satisfy the growing global demand for aquatic animal-based foods, global production will have to double by the year 2030, with the majority of this production coming from aquaculture. However, aquaculture is still a new industry, 70% of which is made up of small-scale farms. Creemos hoy día haber llegado a una mucho mejor situación de la que teníamos hace unos años atrás. Pero obviamente los desafíos que enfrentamos hacia el futuro siguen estando presentes. ¿Cuántas concesiones? ¿Cuánto descanso hay que darle a los mares? ¿Cuál es la cantidad de antibióticos que es razonable dar? A global coordinated effort is thus required from all countries in order to implement and apply OI international standards, aquatic animal diseases being the main causes of production losses. Within this context, during this three-day conference, experts exchanged on country experiences, as well as newly published research and techniques to manage transboundary and emerging diseases. A full session also addressed ways to improve biosecurity methods, an essential topic to control the spread of animal diseases, considering the aquatic medium shared between farmed and wild animals. Finally, the threat of antimicrobial resistance was highlighted coupled with good practices for the responsible and prudent use of antimicrobials. There is no need for me to remind you of the importance of this issue, both for human health and for our ability to control animal disease in the future. IMR is a major challenge, which we must take by facing up to the reality of the situation and not putting off the actions that we need to take now. Ensuring the sustainable growth of aquaculture to feed the world is essential, while protecting biodiversity and the environment. Hawaii international standards and the engagement of all stakeholders will lead the way to achieve this goal. <laughs>